Hi everybody, welcome back to the Taxable channel. Today in this video, we are going to look at how to create custom filters in Interactive Grid. So in one of the videos, I have shown you how to create an Interactive Grid and using some default options to search. But sometimes you have a requirement to create your own filters to filter the data. So in this video, I will show you how to apply those filters. So guys, before we proceed further, I will request everyone to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. <clears throat> one more useful information I would like to give you here. There's a one book which, which I have uh, written on the Visual Builder. If you are willing to learn Oracle Visual Builder, you can buy this book. In this book, I have written all the basic concepts plus advanced, which will help you to learn this Visual Builder end to end. If you are interested to buy, you can go to this link https colon slash slash pack dot live slash 3mw snr7, which will take you to the Amazon website from where you can buy the book. Now let's get started and see how we can create custom filter. So here you see uh, in one of the uh, video, I have shown you how to create this interactive grid. If I run this page, so this is an interactive grid, which I have created, wherein we have some default options to search the data and we can search based on the first name, last name, we do have everything here. So let's suppose uh, somehow we don't, we don't need to use it. We can disable them by going on the attributes, select this interactive grid, select this attribute, we can completely off this toolbar like this toolbar or we can disable uh, or we can hide some other options individually like I don't want to display search column section this column section I don't want to show the search field like this search field this search column section action menu this action menu I don't want to display so let's try to run this page here you see I have I don't have this now what I want I wanted to create two filters one on the name email address and second on the qualification and then based on which I wanted to filter the data let's see how we can do this so what I'm going to do first of all I am going to create a reason here let's say filter data Okay, and filter data. Okay, and here I am going to create two page item, which will have like EMP address, I will select this as a uh, select list. Okay, and the source I will say, it will be like SQL query. And here I will write select email uh, let me see what is my what is the actual column name it's a employee address so select email address and then email address from employee table okay so what it will do it will show the display and return value the same okay invalid maybe from employee email address is already used in the sql query make sure you unique the unique alias name okay let me say display display value and let's say return value. Okay, let me see. That's fine now. Okay, and then okay, right. Similarly, let me create another page item here, and this time I will simply say, ah, uh, this will be like qualification. Qualification. Similarly, I will say it's again like your select list and the same thing, SQL query, select, qualification will be the column name, right, okay, I can say this 
display value and then again qualification i will say return value and then from okay that's fine okay and then this is how my layout looks like let me simply say start not doing wrong now let's try to refresh it let's see okay so this is here let me just make it on top of it okay i can simply drop it here let's try to save it now here we have this filter your data here you see i have email i have the address also let's try to filter the data based on these two filters so what i'm going to do i need to create a dynamic action on both on the on a on a uh, item so click right click here and let's see create dynamic action and we'll say <coughs> filter data okay and i will create a true branch here means true condition and show the action i will say refresh and what item i want to refresh i will select both the items okay so item has been refreshed so okay true condition uh, so my bad i need to click here and let's say on change i want to apply this and in this refresh i will select my reason which i want to refresh on the change event so event is change on this change i wanted to make this both this thing like qualification as well if you will add qualification it will add the same on the qualification also so here select this refresh and i want to use this interactive grid to refresh okay so what i have done i have created one dynamic action on this wherein i have given the name as filter data and i am selecting the event as a change when i change this uh, this employee address then what all the what items event like i select this emp address as well as the qualification when you add both the items so the dynamic action will be added on this item automatically and then in this true i am using this action as a refresh and i am refreshing my reason interactive grid okay now go back just go back to your interactive grid and here what i need to do i need to select this sql query okay and i will update this sql query here i will say where okay email address equals to it's like n v l and we'll say p2 email address otherwise pass the same value same thing and i will say qualification equals to and we l p2 qualification helps do this thing okay and i'll be not n v l null value i mean okay fine and then you need to submit both the items employee address and then qualification okay let's try save and then run this let's try to filter ankur you see okay let's try to filter based on the qualification let's say mba let's say mca let me try to add few records here okay go data okay you can add a row here insert row
create another one. Create. Okay. So I have added two more records here. Okay. MB, MB, MCA. Let's try to refresh this. And you see, I have MCA, MCA. So what I can do here, I can go back in this. I can change this query mm, qualification here. Yeah, okay. I can simply say distinct. Okay, okay. Refresh and run. Okay, let's try to filter. MBA, let's try to filter with MCA. Okay, and same thing you can find in the email address. Shape. So, this is how you can apply your custom filter in Oracle Apex. You can add as many as filter you want. It's very simple to apply. So, uh, that's all about this video. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can find me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. You can always see my blog, https colon slash www.taxsupper.com. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.